The Oklahoma Sooners had a really nice visitor list for Friday. I mean, I think a couple were on Saturday, but really just this week in a whole, they had a lot of visitors on campus. You guys saw five-star offensive tackle Michael Fasusi, who is probably the headliner of all the visitors on that list. There is one, though, that has been receiving predictions in favor of Oklahoma to land, and we got to talk about what that could mean for Oklahoma on the recruiting trail for the 2026 class, because I think it could be really impactful if Oklahoma lands this specific player. Before we dive into it, though, I need to hear from y'all. So make sure you're joining the discussion, jumping down in the comments below, and giving me your thoughts on whether or not you think Oklahoma can land this player. So let's go ahead and let's dive into it. And the first place we got to start off is with the predictions. And the first one by Josh McQuishan over there at on three in favor of the four-star quarterback, Darian Coleman. Now, a lot of you guys, you did see that he was going to be on campus, and some of you may be familiar with this name. Some of you may not. The big thing is here, you had Jaden O'Neill on campus. You have Darian Coleman on campus. and It's really coming down between these two for your quarterback spot in 2026. The big thing with Darian Coleman is Oklahoma's the dream school here, right? And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, I've heard this story a million times, especially with the defensive linemen in the, it was the 2024, no, yeah, 20, yeah, 2024 class that, hey, Oklahoma was the dream school, but we didn't land him. And I hear you on that, except for the fact of when you start to receive these kind of predictions, uh, it, it's kind of the writing on the wall, right? It tells the tale here. So you got Josh McQuishan over here uh, dropping the prediction, and then you get the newly named Fong Bomb from Steve Wilt Fong, who has recently moved over to On3 as well. And this is really good news for Oklahoma because you land Darian Coleman in the 2026 class as your quarterback. You now put yourself in a position like you have in the 2025 class with Kevin Sperry, where by the time the staff gets to recruiting the 2026 class as their full-time gig, you can have five or six guys committed in this class. And I'm going to kind of break down where I think they might get some of those commits because Oklahoma has some elite prospects on campus. But Darian Coleman did get an opportunity to share some of his pictures from the visit, of course, holding the Heisman Trophy and then uh, his quarterback trainer with him as well, also holding the Heisman Trophy. This is kind of fun. I mean, getting a quarterback like this, a guy that's a dual threat, a guy that can get out of the pocket, but has a really smooth ball when he throws it, this is just fun. Like, I think Darian Coleman is a guy that you get him in here in 2026, and he could compete for a starting job in his second year. But he's 6'1", 160 pounds, out of Orlando, Florida, out there at Jones High School. Here's where this potentially makes a big difference for Oklahoma. Being in the state of Florida, he is going to be able to have a reach to recruits that maybe Oklahoma hasn't been able to be as strong in outside of David Stone in the 2024 cycle. Darian Coleman uh, is two and a half hours away from IMG Academy, but in between IMG Academy and himself is Lakeland. And we know Lakeland also puts out a ton of high school talent. I mean, you look at top high school football teams or just, you know, what we consider the best high school football. You've got Texas up there at one, but then Florida is right there at two. And really there's not a lot of other states that compete with those two states alone. So the state of Florida has a lot of talent. There's a lot of talent coming out of IMG, especially top tier five-star talent or what could be five-star talent. Darian Coleman, he's going to be able to get in there and grassroots recruit for Oklahoma and by the time Oklahoma gets to the cycle, I think maybe the staff is going to have a good idea of who they need to prioritize in the state of Florida because Darian Coleman would be able to help get a head start on that. But the state of Oklahoma actually has several prospects that could be top tier for Oklahoma. So I pulled up the class calculator here so I could pull some of them up so you guys could just see a list. The only one that's not on here is Colton Yarborough. And the reason why that is, he's a four-star edge rusher out of Durant, Oklahoma. He trains with C7. And I think there's some questions about the relationship between Oklahoma and C7. And, uh, you know, hey, like, is Oklahoma really wanting to pursue Colton? 
And he's got 16 offers, and they're like elite offers. Georgia, USC, Texas A&M. He's got Oklahoma State, K-State. I believe he's even got Oregon and some others. So for Oklahoma, it might be just one of those ones where they're like, you know, we don't have a great relationship with C7. Maybe we just need to back off a little bit and, you know, let him get recruited by some of these other schools because we got other elite talent in this in this state. And looking at it, you've got Taj Overton. Mason James, who's a four-star wide receiver right here out of Norman North. Mason James is a prospect that's been to Oklahoma many times, and you expect he's going to continue to come to Oklahoma. You've also got Katie Jones out of Jenks, Oklahoma. So let's just say you land those three in accordance to Darian Coleman, although right now they don't have star rankings, but you paired them up with Jonathan Hatton Jr. By the time we get to recruiting the 2026 cycle, you would imagine that this would probably be a top five class with just those commitments. Then you look at some of the other prospects in the state of Texas, right? Just talked about Oklahoma having Jonathan Hatton, who's out of steel, Texas in kind of the Houston area. Oklahoma just recently got two visits from Kevin Ford Jr., the top player in the state of Texas, one of the best edge rushers in this class, five-star capability, Kevin Ford Jr., 6'3", 225 pounds. This is a guy out of Duncanville High School. Oklahoma hasn't recruited out there well. But it seems like Oklahoma and Kevin Ford Jr., there might be a thing there. So I look at the potential of the recruitment that not only Jonathan Hatton can do for Oklahoma, but once you get Darian Coleman, your quarterback, which is usually perceived to be the leader of a class, once you get those two on board and they can really kind of you know get a plan together and figure out who's going to attack who and really try to get some guys on board. I think by the time, like I said, Brenton Venables and them start to focus attention to the 2026 cycle, you really could see a strong top five class, kind of like what we were seeing with Kevin Sperry once Oklahoma got to 2025. But here's the deal. You can't underestimate the talent that Darian Coleman would bring to the Oklahoma Sooners, and you can't underestimate the predictions, especially one coming from Steve Wilfong, who is undoubtedly one of the best recruiters or the not, not, not recruiters, the best uh, insiders in, in the country. Now you did have other insiders from rivals. I think there were like three or four rivals predictions in favor of Darian Coleman as well. So if you're Oklahoma, you're feeling really, really good about your positioning and getting a quarterback early. So Sooner Nation, I want to hear from y'all. Make sure you're joining the discussion and let me know what you guys think. Do you think Oklahoma can land the four star quarterback and Darian Coleman and what kind of impact do you think this would have on this class additionally if you've made it this far and you have not already make sure you hit that like and you hit the subscribe button hey and YouTube wants you guys to watch one of these videos down here below so make sure you're tuning into those because I'm trying to bring you guys as much good content as possible